Welcome back. We're still doing reflections, uh, and a reflection is a type of transformation. Let's quickly have a look again. A type of transformation where a particular object, yeah, so a triangle, a rectangle, changes position or shape. Sometimes both. Yeah. We're doing reflections now. We're going to do rotations, translations, and enlargements later. All right. And as I told you, usually with reflections, you're going to get some sort of diagonal as a mirror line. Yeah. Because in my previous video. I have showed you with vertical and horizontal mirror lines and you saw that was quite straightforward, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, this isn't necessarily difficult either, yeah. Uh, but you just have to take care of one extra thing, okay? And usually you get, you get this type of question. All right. I'm going to first of all reflect image A, yeah, that's the first question, then image B, yeah, so there's no relationship between the two. And I'm only going to reflect the rectangle, yeah, forget about the letter I wrote there. Now let me just put some letters at the vertices, A, B, C, D. All right, there we go. I'll do point A first. So I'm going to my mirror line, okay? I can go horizontally or I can go vertically to my mirror line. It doesn't matter, yeah, so choose. I always go horizontally, yeah? Anyway, let's go. How many steps? One, two, three, four, five. So it's five steps to my mirror line. Now, because it's a diagonal, I do not continue five horizontally, no. If I go five horizontally, then now I go one, two, three, four, five down. So this point is gonna be my mirror point, I'll call that a apostrophe, okay? Now, if I would have gone down instead, I said it doesn't matter, you can go horizontally first, yeah, and then you go down. But if I would have gone first down, I'm sure you realize then I would have to have gone horizontally. Let's have a look. Point A. One, two, three, four, five down to the image line. Uh, sorry, the mirror line, I should say. So I do not continue five. No, it's diagonal. So I should go one, two, three, four, five to the right. And as you can see, it's the same point. Yeah. So it doesn't matter what you do first. Horizontally first, but then you go down afterwards. Yeah. Or you go down first, make sure you go horizontally afterwards with those diagonals. All right. Then it becomes quite simple. Uh, point B, it's one to the right, so one down. Yeah, so that's gonna be B apostrophe. What about C? It's one, two, three down, one, two, three over there. It's gonna be C apostrophe. And hopefully you realize D is gonna go over there. Yeah, because then I have my rectangle again. I'm gonna check that in a second. But I just wanna tell you, yeah, with a reflection, your shape, doesn't change, does it? Yeah, it's just a different position. So if you're gonna get some weird looking quadrilateral after the reflection, then you have made a mistake. Okay, now of course there are re different types of reflections, but for you guys, it's just gonna be like this, okay? So if you do not get a nice rectangle after the reflection, can you please check your mistake? Okay, point D, just to make sure I've done it all correctly, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven horizontally, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven now. Beautiful, you see, it's over there. Now, very quickly, question B. Uh, again, I will name the vertices, let's say E, F, and over there, G. So E, one, two, so one, two, it's gonna be over there. What about F, one, two, three, so one, two, three, it's gonna be over there. And G is on the mirror line, so it doesn't move at all, okay? So the reflection here, the image will look like that. Let me just quickly change that. Of course you do this with a pencil. Eh? I don't do it with a pencil because otherwise you can't see what I'm doing. Eh? But that is the apostrophe pencil and a ruler, okay? As you can see with those diagonal mirror lines, some sort of rotation is going on, but it's not, it is a reflection. Okay, next video I'll talk about rotations. I'll see you there.